Right, so before we go anywhere near this, I have to make it absolutely clear that Creality sent me this 3D printer. It is a pre-production unit. Uh, in saying all of that, all the opinions and actions that you see in this video are my own and in no way endorsed or sponsored by Creality. So, is that clear enough? In saying that, you know, big thanks to Creality for sending this to me. I'm super stoked to, to be one of the first people to actually unbox and use this machine. I'm super excited. I've been using my Ender 3 for a few weeks now, which I paid for with my own money. And I've been pretty excited and pretty happy with that. This video is not going to be so much a review. It's going to be more an unboxing, assembly, and then maybe my first impressions of the machine. I'm also going to kind of dive a little bit into the difference between this machine and the Ender 3. So that's the Ender 3 Max and this is your normal Ender 3 size. Obviously a little bit different size in the box. Right, let's get cracking. So just like the Ender 3, everything kind of comes semi-assembled, you still have to do a little bit of the work. Put the game key frame and tighten it up. That's, that's the assembly. So let's put it on and tighten it. It is like a hell of a lot easier to build than, than the Ender 3. Obviously because most of it's done. When I built the Ender 3, I had to come in and you have to actually tension these, the, you know, X bolts. You have to tension this. Yeah. Oh, for the conveyor belt? Yeah, you had to assemble that whole thing pretty much. Like all of that's in pieces, that's in pieces. The head's not even on it. Um, yeah. Even the, the, you know, the Z screw, you have to put that in. That whole gantry comes in like five pieces. So do you think they would have done it to conserve on space to packaging? And then with the Pro, they don't care about the packaging, so they decided to assemble it for you? Yeah, I'd say that's probably it. That, that, that thing's packaging was a lot more compact when I did it um, compared to this. But if you look at them, the machine footprint's not that different. I think this machine packaging was so big because this was so big. Um, hopefully it doesn't like skew the the shipping price too much having such a big box compared to the size between these two. Especially for like me in New Zealand here, when I bought that machine it was it was two hundred US and ninety eight dollars US shipping to get it here. So you end up with like a three hundred and ten dollar machine for what should be a two hundred what everyone else is getting. Hopefully that having that big box doesn't mean that so this one's like 280 and then you're having like $200 worth of shipping, which which I'm kind of cautious about. Yeah, right. Do you want a busy? Yes. Yeah. All right. Mm. Right, next bit. Make sure it's 230 volts. Turn it on. It's a long way to auto home. What it's doing is it's going to all the end stops, so this will let us know that we've plugged everything in correctly. In correctly. But like I said, it's got a long way to Z home, so we can wait. Okay, so it works.
Right, so what I've done here is I took the classic Benchy, I printed it on my Ender 3 just with standard profile settings on super fine detail. Didn't change anything except for the size of the bed and then printed it on the Ender 3. The reason I did this is I was kind of concerned about the bigger size affecting the quality of the print. In actual fact, what's kind of happened is it's a lot better than the original Ender 3. Yeah, between the two, they're exactly the same filament, but I can see a little bit more bubbling in this one. Uh, there's a lot more stringing in this, in the print that came off the Ender 3. But other than that, they're reasonably similar. The bed adhesion on the glass bed is a lot nicer, a lot cleaner than on the Ender 3. Yeah, all in all, two pretty tidy benches. Obviously, if we went in there and tweaked both profiles, we could get a much better result than this. But for first print on standard profiles, I'm pretty happy with that. So the, the differences between the two machines are as follows. Obviously the size, but with that size comes some beefier extrusion on the y-axis. The bed is the much nicer glass bed. The power bank is slightly different. This one's a lot smaller than, than this one. They both seem to do the same thing. The extrusion head is metal in this one compared to the plastic that everyone keeps replacing with aftermarket parts anyway. Another difference is the extrusion head. This is a completely new extrusion head. The two fan extrusion compared to this one which is the one. It's also got a new housing. Um, as far as the actual extruder itself I can't see much difference between the two. Also one that isn't quite noticeable is that this one's got the yellow springs I, I believe and I, I might be wrong that they're the better of the springs and then obviously the spool holder which using it for that one little print was actually pretty cool uh, we'll see how we go when we get up to these higher heights how it goes and you might have to halfway through the print move that but I think I'm pretty happy with where it is at the moment so all in all my impressions of the machine is I think it's really great. They've they've kept the kind of low cost aspect of the end of three going, but just refined certain bits that people were upgrading anywhere on it. I think that this is almost like the when somebody buys the end of three, this is what everybody mods it up to be. If you look at the glass bed, the metal extrusion there's also people making them bigger. I think that this is this is where most hacker ones end up. Uh, so that's kind of its impression for me. All in all, I think it's a great machine so far. Um, I guess the test will come when we print big. So I've got a three day print lined up that will put this thing to the test. Uh, for now, we're gonna call this video here. Um, this is just my impressions. If you do wanna see a full review of me diving really deeply into this machine itself, please let me know. Um, bang it down in the comments below and I'll be happy to oblige if there's enough people that want it. Um, but for now, yeah, thanks heaps. Um, yeah, this was really fun. Also big thanks to Keality for sending me this machine. I'm sure there's gonna be some, some serious prints coming at your way. Um, yeah, see you later. <laughs>